Wow, it's really coming down now. I'm soaking wet, frozen. There we go. Oh, that's a better one. Got one. Yep, got one of them. What is going on everyone? So this morning, it's pretty much a classic winter day that you would get here in Florida. Pretty overcast, it's probably like high 60s right now and it's just drizzling all day. So I don't wanna keep the fancy cam out for too long. So I got top waters, I got some DOA cows and I also have some live bait. I have some greenbacks, thread fins and pinfish in the live oil right now. So really, I'm just gonna bounce around and just try and catch some fish today and try and teach you guys what I like to do in the winter. So my favorite way to go fishing in the winter is using topwater lures. Last winter, I was getting a bunch of big trout, especially by these spoil islands right here, especially the ones with the oyster bars on topwaters. I was getting like mid to high 20 inch trout on these. I have got an oyster bar right here that's just now starting to submerge because the tide's rising. So it's pretty perfect conditions. There should be some redfish and trout, maybe some snook. Usually the snook in the winter are stacked up in the creeks and in the residential canals and everything. So just cast it around, see what we can get. How I like to work this bait is to give it like five twitches. So one, two, three, four, five, and then like a two second pause. So one, two, three, four, five, and then a pause. A lot of times when you get your bite, it's on that pause right there. Well, thanks for scaring the fish, bud. You didn't even get anything. This dolphin's literally playing with seaweed right now. Top water's been a struggle, so I'm gonna go ahead and rig up for live bait and try fishing some live bait by these oyster bars for a little bit and then go and try and fish some docks. All right, so I just rigged a little 1-0 circle hook right here. Got about three foot section of 25 pound fluoro leader. Just gonna grab one of these green backs right quick. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There we go. Just gonna go ahead and belly hook them. I usually nose hook them, but I want to try belly hooking them more often. There we go. Get the scales off the tip of your hook. There we go. He's super lively. And we got this oyster bar right here in front of us that is absolutely covered in mullet right now. So it's looking really good. Oh, I got one. Got something already. That did not take long at all. Little baby redfish. That was in there for like 15 seconds. That'd be the smallest redfish I've caught in a while. Here we go. He's got a very blue tail though. I was throwing my top water in there the whole time and nothing was eating it, but as soon as I put a live bait in there, this guy eats it. Little baby redfish right there. Probably like 14, 15 inches. Got a super blue tail right there, but I'll take it right there on the live bait. He's got, he's got two spots on this side and then two spots on that side. So he's got four spots. Cute little guy. Let's get the release on him. Let's see if we can get a redfish over 14 inches this time. He got eaten already. This is insane. That's like five seconds after it hit the water. I mean, it's the best one so far. He might be 18. This is absolutely insane how many redfish are on this oyster bar right now. Come here, dude. Nah, he's about the same, actually. Like 16. We can see the greenbacks right here flash around next to the boat. So there is bait here. They're just munching it up as soon as it gets right over to them. Another little redfish right there. See you, dude. Something's already on him. Something's already on him. 
Oh, look at that. Some just went after him. I think it got it. Nope, still going after it. Oh, he got eight now. There he is. That's a better fish. Uh, maybe the same size red, actually. But that was so cool. You could see them like chasing it on the surface. I don't care if they're that big. If they're going to eat like that, that was cool. Hey, dude. See, dude. Already got eaten. Already got eaten. <laughs> These baits aren't lasting five seconds in the water. I just saw a school of mullet go by. I was like, oh, there's got to be a redfish in there with them, too. See you, dude. This truly is kind of crazy right now. How many of these little guys there are. If you just want to come out here and bring your kids or bring someone that doesn't really fish too much and you just want to catch a lot of fish, get some, get some live bait. You could even get some like shrimp. I'm sure they would absolutely destroy some shrimp right now. And go to an oyster bar, high tide oyster bar in the winter. You'll just slay them apparently. There we go, got him. Another little guy. What a surprise. Oh, look at the tail on you though. Two spots on him and super blue tail right there. Look at that. That's so cool. See ya. All right, I'm gonna give this like five more minutes. How about this? I'll give it three more baits and then I'll go try and fish the dock. Got him. Oh, dang it, that one felt a little bit better. Dang it. Of course I missed that one, the one that feels the best. Is that a trout? It is a trout. Hey, the little guy. My hand's already wet from dealing with a live well. Little trap. See you, dude. On already. <laughs> That's just crazy. But they're all this size. Let's go fish the docks now. Got a lot of rain coming, so. I don't know how long I'll be able to do this fishing the docks, but I'll try to give it a shot. Okay, there's some snook in here. Just cruising up here. I've seen a bunch of pops. So I'm gonna get a bait. See if I can get one of these snook. There we go. What is this? A little snook? Seems like a little snook. Yep, a little snook. Little guy. But back in these creeks, like I said, the snook really like to stack up in here in the winter. Hey there, little dude. It's a redfish out in the oyster bars. You can find the trout out there too. If you want snook, you gotta go in the little residential areas and in the creeks. There we go, barely hooked. Cute little guy right there. See you, dude. See if we can get a big one before the rain really starts coming down. Oh, dude, there's a bunch of snook under this uh, dock right here. They all came out after the, the bait right there. Gotta get one like under there. Got one. Yep, got one of them. There he goes. <laughs> Not a big one but better than the other one. I got an 18 inch snook right here probably. I saw him kind of come out after the, the bait over there, so I'd try to get my bait as close to that dock as I could. Yeah, a little bit better fish. He's not done. Come on over here. Come on, come on. There we go. That's like a 20 inch snook right there probably. 
I'll take that for sure. Let's measure him up, I'm curious. He's 22. 22 inch snook right there. Check to see if he frayed my line. Yeah, he did. I'm gonna go ahead and retie. See if there's any more under this one dock. It looked like a couple of them came out after bait. Oh, I see one. I literally see a snook. He just ate my bait. No! Wait, yes, I got him. No, he came off. Dang it. I don't know what just happened there, but I literally saw that snook like stalking my bait. I think I was like caught on the ground, then also hooked the fish. So that's why it felt weird. But that was a better one too. Oh, he just got eight there. Another little snook. <laughs> oh, he came off. That last one frayed me up pretty good, so I just retied. And I am soaking wet right now. Just keeps coming down harder and harder. Oh, there's oh, there's a couple good snook over there. Oh, nope. He got eight. Got him. Oh, it's a red. Come here, dude. <laughs> Best red I've gotten all day. Come here, dude. Where'd you come from? I was looking at the snook going after baits and here comes like an 18 inch red. The rain never stopped the fish, I'll tell you that. Yeah, it's like an 18 inch red right there. See you, dude. There we go. What? Oh, I got one. There we go. Little snook right there. That was weird. I think I had one and it came off and then the snook must have just like followed it and piped it as soon as it like got dropped. Another like 18, 20 inch snook. Yeah. Yummy. They fight so much harder than a redfish about the same size. There you go, another little snook right there. Such a pretty fish. All right, see you dude. All right, let's just fish for a little bit longer. Oh, oh, come on. There we go, got him around. Is this a better one? I can't tell. No, he popped off. I think he was like the same size. There we go. Oh, that's a better one. Oh no, come on. Just wrapped around some stuff. Come on, oh, that's a better fish. Come on, is that a red? Oh, he wrapped me, that was a red. He wrapped me around there and broke me off. Dang it. All right, I gotta head out of here. It is just pouring and I gotta go.